the Kunse did that with the family, successfully holding multiple tag team goals. It's quite ironic that the family members unite here tonight to take on IPW UK and perhaps if IPW UK was around. In the days of the family, the family members would have jumped ship to IPW. All they wanted was an opportunity. What a coup for Team FWA, the Zebra Kid, former FWA All England Champion. We haven't seen this man for months. We know that the Zebra Kid had his personal issues, but Zebra Kid is here and it looks like he's raring to go. Scott Park was right when he said, I feel sorry for you guys. Zebra Kid is back in a British professional wrestling ring. Unfortunately, he's not on our side. Of course, the Zebra Kid very famously chose FWA over his father's home promotion of WAW. That led to a few bits of it. FWA apart from its very foundations. And of course, despite the fact the Knight family, they reunited after that, they've never quite been the same since Zebra Kid chose the FWA over WAW. What a feud that was. And I guess Zebra Kid is as loyal to FWA as they come. And again, Ross Jordan, the gift trained by FWA London, Paul Travell trained him. FWA Portsmouth, one of the founding members of the FWA roster. And then you look across the team of IPW UK and you see Max Voltage, a product of the FWA Academy in Portsmouth. But Max Voltage found opportunities hard to come by in the FWA. Of course we saw Voltage along with his tag team partner Dan Head. Of course, Max Voltage is going to start this one off with Paul Travell, traditional tag team specialist. Teams with Dan Head in the combination of Maximum Head and they ripped up Orpington last month in that tremendous street fight against the cartel victorious in that one. Royal Maximum Head and they must be fan fan favourites most IPW UK Tag Team Championship because Tag Team Wrestling is something which also has been neglected in the FWA. Not that like I'm trying to pick boots or anything as Paul Travell now wins the arm of Voltage. Sends him off the ropes. Deep arm drag takedown, nicely done. There's a second one from Travell. Hip toss, Voltage is floored for a third time. And we still don't know who's going to face Martin Stone in the main event. What a surprise it is to see the Zebra Kid here. I mean, many people speculated that it could be the Zebra Kid. It could very well be the Zebra Kid who takes Martin Stone on in tonight's Do or Die main event. It's Max Voltage now, side headlock applied on Paul Travell. I guess we can rule out the Zebra Kid. I guess that would be a potential dream match. Martin Stone versus the Zebra Kid. We can rule out Paul Travell as well, that's for sure. Can't see FWA risking one of their wrestlers doing double duty. Risking one of their wrestlers getting hurt early on. Entitled that all important main event of the evening. Now Voltage sends Travell off the ropes. Now Travell can reverse it, but Voltage hangs on. And Travell connects with nothing but the canvas on that drop kick attempt. Applied by Voltage moves into a corner. Moves into his corner. What is tag team strategy? Paul Robinson with a cheap shot tags in Voltage. Paul Robinson now. I'm not applied on Travel. Travel looking for a way out. Place. Oh my. Fireman's carrying the ball there from Paul Travel. Just 
Paul is a much smaller. Paul Robinson down to the canvas and tags in the flyweight champion and Ross Jordan may have a score to settle with Paul Robinson. Because it was at IPW UK's first anniversary show where we set up then flyweight champion Ross Jordan versus Paul Travell, the product of IPW UK's high fly division and it was an unofficial interpersonal matchup but a sign that IPW was keen to show that everyone was working in the IPW UK roster and that we really would use the best of British talent fighting head scissors from Paul Robinson and of course it was Paul Robinson that upset the flyweight champion and here comes Zebra Kids oh my Super kick connect to the side of Paul Robinson's skull. I'm glad I'm not Paul Robinson right now. Paul Robinson is taking a beating. And listen to these merciless FWA heathens in the crowd. And Driver that moved banned in the FWA but not here in IPW. That move could have just shortened Paul Robinson's career significantly. So the Zebra keeps picking off exactly where he left off. And Robinson down in the corner now. Oh my! That's highly illegal. And look at referee Steve. That was in full view of referee Steve Lynch. And look at Scott Parker getting in the face of Robinson. Hyman's neck breaker, Paul Robinson, has been folded up like an accordion and he could be out for the count. And listen to the crowd getting behind the Zebra Kids. Or should I say 50% of the crowd are up, 30% of the crowd. Oh, crowd about 70-30 in IPW UK's favour. Of course, ticket allocation was split evenly, but there were more IPW UK fans who wanted to come along tonight, which is understandable in IPW UK's home. The Orpington Hall's after difficulties with the Brockville Civic Hall, all down to FWA and lack of communication, no doubt. moves out the way, I was going to say he needed to make a tag, and there it is to Voltage, but there goes Voltage. Max Voltage just went for a speedy tight manoeuvre, and just got caught off by Travel, who sends him a rub over for Voltage, rolls through, knocks out that big, big boot attempt, series of four out of the side of Paul Travel's skull, the righteous one now, oh there's quick reversal. Voltage bolts over ropes, cuts off Travel. Four onto the side of a skull. Come on, Matt! Spring ball drop kick! And here comes the tag to Luke Dragon Phoenix, a team pack captain, who's going to try and pick up the pace here. So that's all press, quick of the leg. But can only get a two, perhaps just a one count. Sapnair take down from Phoenix, nicely done. Flying four onto the back of Travel, quick of the leg. Two count again. Big snap, Super nicely done from Phoenix, hangs on. Nice back, Super there from Phoenix. Cover. And Ross Jordan there to make the save. The FWA has typical FWA cheating there. Phoenix cuts him off. 
Knuckles, Luke Jagger the Phoenix spent extensive time at the New Japan Dojo in America. They were both, they were all very impressed with Luke Dragon Phoenix's progress there. And oh my, look, did you see that? The trip from Sonic Gold Scott Parker. And look at this all team. IPW after Scott Parker. And look at that. Despite Scott Parker and Team FWA's best efforts, Trevor had had so much taken out of him. He was in no man's land. And Luke Dragon Phoenix just absolutely nailed him. And if it wasn't for Scott Parker, this one perhaps would have been over already. Scott Parker from Paul Robinson there. And what athleticism from Paul Robinson. Corner sends Travell into the far corner. Does Paul Robinson, but Travell gets a boot up. Robinson won't let up, and again, Travell gets a boot up. And he comes out the corner, and Robinson now is him with a big leg barrier. Those educated feet of Paul Robinson. Robinson thinks it's perhaps too soon to put away Paul Travell. Instead, tags in Max Voltage. Holds him open. Opens him up. And now, Paul Travell. Could be on the verge of losing this one for Team FWS. Team IPW look to carry on their momentum. They're both men exchanging blows. The first one with Irish with the tenth. Hands free, elbow, got him. Cover. Two count only, and you saw that leg and separate kid there coming into play. Never made contact with Voltage, but you saw the idea. Again, Kelly Warren at two count. But as the match goes on and on, the kicking out from Paul Travell is becoming less and less energetic. Picture perfect leg drop from Voltage Team IPW UK are dominating this one. Because all the officials for these contests, we've got referee Andrew Corden who's working neutral. He's worked for both FWA and IPW UK race wins. Oh no, Bolt has been caught! And could this be the opening that Paul Travell's looking for? The atmosphere in Yorkington Halls is rabid as Paul Travell looks to make the tag and so does Max Voltage. Who's going to make the tag first here? The FWA, here comes the Zebra Kid, and there goes Max Voltage into glory. Kick from midsection on Robinson. Ouch! Double close, and there goes both Blue Dragon Phoenix and Max for high cross body block. Caught by the Zebra Kid. Slam to the outside of the ring, and I think the Zebra Kid wants to kill, that's right, kill Paul Robinson. And Ross Jordan, he's not allowing any let up for Robinson, throws him into the ring, point blank, kick to the skull on Robinson there. And the Zebra Kid has not finished mutilating the plucky youngster yet. With your mum. And of course, Paul Robinson was in his series of matches with Ashley Reed, but almost attributed to putting IPW UK on the map. And it seems that Zebra Kid resents him for this. But there's a low blow to the Zebra. Oh, but here comes Ross Jordan. Forget about that. But Robinson hangs on again. And there's a low blow to Ross Jordan. Biggest big drop ever connects with nothing. Jordan back to his feet, kicked for midsection. It's a gift wrap, the gift wrap from the gift. Cover. Max Voltage to make the save, and this one's broken down. Oh, but Voltage cuts off Ross Jordan. From voltage could be it. Travell this time to make the save. 
Quarter to go now, sends Bolt to jump forward. Bolt is out of clothesline, ducks out back elbow. The Chabelle calls him with a spine buster. Look at the leg. But Voltage kicks out. I don't know where he got his energy from. And here comes Luke, Dragon Phoenix. Who cares who the legal man is? This one's well and truly broken down as we're concentrating on Luke, Dragon Phoenix. And the right just pulled Travel. Travel sends Phoenix off the ropes. Went for a spine buster. Phoenix ducks out the clothesline attempt. Tornado DDT connects. Look at the leg. Zebra Kid this time makes a save. Zebra just nails Phoenix. High back body chop. Phoenix still on his feet. Pulls the Zebra Kid down to the canvas. And now close to that top strand. The Zebra Kid cuts him off. Just an unceremonious slam across the chops of Phoenix, the team IPW UK captain. Complete lack of respect from the Zebra Kid. DDT from the top row! Have you ever seen anything like that? A DDT from the top row, from innovative offense from the Zebra Kid and how he has been missed. But unfortunately for us, he's on the wrong team as Phoenix is in some real trouble here. Look at this. This match could be cut short. Look at this, Scott Parker! Scott Parker! Solid gold, Scott Parker behind the referee's back. The falcon arrow from Scott Parker. The righteous splash from Paul Travel. And now it looks like Zephyr Kid perhaps going to put the icing on the cake. Damn this Scott Parker. Zebra crossing straight to the heart, and that's it. The Team FWA, the winners. What a match we've just witnessed. Unfortunately, the wrong team came up on the winning end there. Solid dog Scott Parker should never have been involved in that matchup. I'm sure we might not be singing at the moment, but can the main event, Martin Stone, I'm confident Martin Stone will do it for Team IPW.